In this episode, I'm going to talk about creating a classic project from a template, and it's going to be the tutorial app, and I'm going to use a guide to do that. And I'll start off by using command to create this classic project. Once I do that, I'll import the project into Visual Studio Code, and then I'll start up AppWatch to debug and run the local web server to, so I can debug the project. Okay, so to get going, I'm going to go to the guide and show you where I'm what I'm working from. And I'm going to use the sample login app. It's building a login system and this is a fantastic way to kind of get comfortable with XJS and, and debugging. Okay, so I'm going to use Sencha, which is the command execution or how I'm going to execute command. And then the SDK argument is going to tell me where the SDK is. And I'm going to use the generate app and it's going to be classic and it'll be tutorial app. Watch in the future episodes and I'll cover modern app generation as well. So to get started, I'm going to copy this command and I've already put it in my terminal and it'll be the command prompt on Windows, but in terminal it'll look like this, Sencha SDK users, and this is pointing at my SDKs and this is the zip exploded and this will be the generate app command and Okay, so that'll generate my tutorial app right in this directory. So I'm going to hit enter and it's going to generate the XJ app that I'm going to work from. Okay, so it's finished generating the application. So what I want to do is go to Visual Studio Code next and I'm going to go to the Explorer right up here. And this Explorer, I'm going to open up that folder that I generated and that's in my XJS training app folders. And I'm going to select tutorial app, which I just generated and here's all the bits that it generated. So I'm going to click on open. Once it opens and I can close this welcome page, it's just showing me the shortcuts. And what I want to do is I could select on any one of these, but I'm going to select on or right click on index and then I'm going to go run Sencha App Watch. Now I've already installed the Sencha plugin and I'm not covering that in this episode, so you'll have to install that first. So this gives me the execution or option to execute App Watch and I'm going to run that and it's going to start out and show me the output. Now, if I change something, it's going to incrementally compile or compile the change so I can see that in the website, such as if I do some CSS changes or, or JavaScript changes, it's going to do the magic behind the scenes so, and push it to the web folder. And this is going to run a local embedded Jetty server um, that I can debug from. Okay, so it looks like it's waiting for changes. So let me scroll up here and copy the URL. And I'm going to go to the Chrome browser and open it up. Okay, so I'm going to open up Chrome and go to a new tab and paste in the, the URL it gave me. And there it is. There's the application. So that's fantastic. That was really easy to start up and bootstrap. And I can start to debug this. Now, I'll cover more in the episodes following this on how I can edit it and change the options and configurations. So that covers generating a Sencha app, classic app, in this episode. Thanks for watching today. Follow me for more tips and tricks, and I'll catch you later.